Hello everyone. Myself is CL Rattod, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Walsan Digital Technology, Solapur. Today's topic is orthographic projections of simple object. Learning outcomes. At the end of this session, student will be able to draw the orthographic projections of simple object. So this is the simple object which I have selected. So this is the front view and this is the top view we are going to see. And so when we see from the front, so this portion we are going to see and length is given here length is equal to length is equal to 30 length is given that is 22 plus 82 plus 22 that is equal to 126 mm and height h is equal to given that is 30 plus 50 plus 25 that is equal to 105 and width is given is 75 so i'm going to take this height length and width and when we see from the front so i'm going to see from this side and at that time we're going to see this block and this cylinder and we're not going to see this hole this hole and this hole so first what i have to do i have to take 126 is the length so i'm going to take 126 is the length One twenty-six and twenty-five is the uh, block from this twenty-five. I have to take twenty-five from this. I have to take twenty-five. So similarly, here I have to take twenty-five, and I am going to complete the this block. One twenty-six by twenty-five. Then. I will going to divide this is 126 divided by 2 so half of this one is sixty three. I will going to take 63 here and I will going to make the axis line over here and so when we see from that front we are going to see this cylinder so its height is 30 so i'm going to take 30 from this and 75 mm diameter is given so i have to take 35 on both uh, 35 37.5 37.5 both side And I'll complete this block of 30 so this is 30 mm so in some cases we have to shift this axis line so there is no relation between this gap and this block so for that I'm going to shift little below this XY line So this is y x so now what i have to do i have to take this slot so its uh, length is given 22 i'm going to measure 22 this side and also 22 this side and a uh, height is given from this i have to take 50 so this is 50 and another 25 I have to take from this so this is 25 then I'm going to draw this block of uh, 22 on both side so this is the 40 block 14 uh, 22 by foot uh, 22 blocks then I have to complete this So similarly here I have to draw this block and so this is how we are going to draw the 
front view for these two slots. And when we see from the top, we are not going to see this uh, hole. So its diameter is 40. So I am going to take 20 mm each side. And a through hole is given. So for that I have to uh, draw this dotted line. Then, so when we see from the top, so front, we will we'll not going to see this hole also. So from this 50, I am going to make one axis line. So this is the axis line from at 50 mm. Then, so we will not going to see this hole. So its diameter is 20 mm is given. So what I have to do, I have to take 10, 10 mm each side and I will complete the this dotted line over here. And now, so this is how we are going to draw the front view and now what I have to do I have to project all this line. This is the line I have to project. This is the dot. This is the line. This is the axis line. And this is also I have to draw. And this I have to draw the another axis line. Now I have to take 75 from this. So this is 75. I am going to prepare the block of 75 by 126 here. So this is the block of 126 by 75. Now when we see from the top, you can pause the video and see this hole. So whether when we see from the top, whether it is going to visible or not. I hope you will going to understood this. So when we see from the top, you will not going to uh, uh, see this hole, both the holes. So what I have to do? I have to draw this dotted uh, dotted line over here and when we see from the top we are going to see this slot also. So we are going to see this complete slot and this slot as well and when we see from the top we are going to see this hole. So for that what I have to do I have to draw the complete Hole. So before that what I have to do, I have to divide the 75 is half, it means 37.5, uh, 37.5 each side I am going to take and I am going to draw the axis line over here. Then what I have to do, I have to draw this hole of diameter 40 so I'll I'll draw the complete diagram when we see from the top we're going to see the 40 mm diameter hole when we see from the top we will not going to see this cylinder so for that what I have to do I have to take uh, this line and I'll going to draw the dotted line because it will not going to visible from the top So this is how we will going to draw. So now, so next when we see from the top this hole is not going to be visible. So we will going to take from top we will going to take uh, 10 mm each side. So 
I'm going to take 10 mm he here also and 10 mm this side and we're going to complete the dotted line over here. And now, so this is how we're going to draw the front view and top view. Now I'm going to uh, dimension this. So this is the 75 diameter is given. So this is 126 length. And from this, it is the uh, 25 mm is given. And from this, uh, from this, this to this, 50 mm is given. And from this, it is given 20, 25 is the 25 mm is given. And then uh, this whole diameter is given that is 520 uh, mm. And this whole diameter is given 40. So I have to mention here that is 540 mm is given. And this length is given that is 75 mm. So this is how we are going to draw the top view and front view of this simple object.